Yo, yo, yo. How y'all doing? Hey, y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know who it is. I'm back up in this thing again. Today is going to be a different type of video. As you guys can see, I'm using a different background. Everybody been getting on me about switching up my background. Really wasn't nothing that I couldn't have done, but I just made the decision, you know, because I want to invest into my channel. I want to invest into the information that I'm giving out and the information that I'm putting out. And I want to begin to empower more of you guys, you know what I'm saying? And show you the power of making a change in your life to where it'll be beneficial to you and your situation. So I actually had this, I had the, the kit, the lighting kit. I had it for a long time but last night i just made a decision i say i just want to try something new and i'm gonna switch it up a little bit so it's like the editing and different things of that nature that that's required when you working with the green screen the white screen the black screen and it's like i got so used to just shooting a video and uploading which i'm going i'm still going to do that but as you guys go on this journey with me you're gonna begin to see i'm gonna be switching it up you know with my backgrounds and you know i gotta get back to my thumbnails and editing and i mean it's a lot of stuff that comes with it and my time it'd be so limited because i'm over here doing this so i'm over there doing that and you know it's i mean it's not an excuse i'm not gonna make any excuses but it's gonna get done you know what i'm saying and i really I'm really doing it to show you guys that when you believe in something and you take something serious and it's something that you really want to do in life, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what this whole thing is about. But what I want to talk about was today is going to be a, we're going to get to it later on in the broadcast, but it's a celebration for me. One of my goal, I, I achieved one of my goals and I want to share it with you guys. And uh, I want you, I want you guys to elevate. I want you to get up out your current situation and do whatever it is that you want to do in life because tomorrow is not promised to me. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Tomorrow is not promised to nobody. I just had a, a phone call came through a couple of days ago you know, back from Memphis, one of my guys that we grew up with, he actually passed a couple of days ago. And, you know, when I hear stories like that about people dying and, you know, people getting sick, going to the hospital, health issues, when I hear stuff like that, that just make me say, hey man, if it's something that you want to do today, go ahead and start. Why not start now? Go ahead and get it done. Because you never know. We don't know when our last day going to be. We don't know when our clock going to stop ticking. You feel me? So everything that I got going on and everything that I plan on working on, I plan on doing my goal list that I want to achieve. I mean, it's day one or one day. One day might not never come. So why not start the day? If you can get it done today, go ahead and get it done. But, uh, I wanted to tell a story, and the story right here is about is a situation that happened with me. I don't know about I, I might have told it on a on another live or another broadcast that I might have on one of my channels. But if you're new to the channel, hey, I appreciate you taking your time out to watch my video and uh, you know hear hear what I'm talking about. But I was involved in a, a car accident, so what happened was I was actually pulling through my gate. And I was leaving, leaving the house. So I was supposed to be making a left turn. You know, I stopped at the stop sign and I was supposed to be making a left turn. So it was, it was a nighttime. It was at nighttime too. So what happened was when I pulled out, it was a dude driving up the street with no lights on and I couldn't see the dude. You know what I'm saying? So when I pulled out, boom, the guy hit the car. So when he hit the car, it dented the side of my car, you know, by the gas tank. 
So, I mean, it was, I mean, it's about maybe $2,500 in damage. I mean, that's out of pocket expense. But being that my car is paid for, I didn't want to go through the insurance company to file a claim. And the, 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 the part of the story that make me mad is I'm the one that got the ticket. The cop gives me the ticket saying that I didn't yield, like a failure to yield ticket. So it kind of pissed me off. But I tell this story to say, like, sometimes in life, you got to make a decision on on how you going to move forward and always mentally respond, never emotionally react. Because I was pissed off about the situation, but the situation actually humbled me because when it happened, I was able to go in pocket with, you know, money that I've been saving so I can pay for the repair costs. Cause like I said, I could have went through the insurance company, but by the car being an older car, instead of them fixing the car, they would have tried to total the car out. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a decision that I had to make. And if I wanted to, I really didn't have to get the car fixed. What I could have did was I could have took the money and put it on a down payment to go get a, a new car. But it ain't got to be like a Lamborghini or, you know, something thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 where I'm paying a seven, dollars $800 car note with insurance or nothing like that. You can go get you a car for, you know, a little ten grand or, I mean, if you're going to finance it, you know, make sure you got a good interest rate and make sure you can pay the note. I mean, that's something I could have did but I just chose not to. So the reason I'm telling the story is I was talking to this little chick I know and I was telling her about me getting the car repaired. And she was like, oh, why are you getting the car repaired? You might as well go and get you something new. You keep putting money into the car. And I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm listening to her. But at the end of the day, I'm saying to myself, like a lot of people, they don't understand about wealth building. They don't understand the sacrifice and discipline that it's going to take to achieve your goal. My personal goal, my my goal, my goal is to supersede the people in my family that came before me. And when I say supersede the people that came before me, I don't know no rich and wealthy people that was in my family. You see what I'm saying? It's one person I know. I ain't going to say who she is. But I know this person got her stuff together and that's my main family member that I actually look up to and I know what she got going on. I know the work that she put in to get to where she is in her life right now. You see what I'm saying? So me taking the necessary steps and doing the things that I'm doing now so I can achieve the goal that I have set for myself I have to sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can go and jump in me something new right now and do what I'm going to do, which I'm going to do that. That's that, It's coming, you feel me? But right now, the main goal and the, the thing that I'm focused on now is getting up out of debt, the bad debt. You see what I'm saying? You got good debt and you got bad debt. The bad debt is the consumer credit, you feel me? The, these credit cards that need to be paid off or at least paid up under 33 percent you see what i'm saying so the bad debt is all the the clothes that the designer expensive clothes that you got in your closet that is not making you no money now it'd been different if it was if you was buying the clothes with your business and you traveling you doing your seminars or you doing your events you know what I'm saying? And you making them type of moves. Yeah, you got to look nice. I mean, you don't have to have designer. You know what I'm saying? Because the clothes don't make me. I make the clothes. I could put on a t-shirt and still look like a million. You feel me? So, I mean, there's just so much going on with people not understanding that when you have a goal set for yourself and it's something that you're trying to do and it's something that you want to do and you adamant about doing it, People they they say outlandish things and you be like, yo, what 
man, yo, what, what the hell is you talking about, dog? You feel me? My situation is totally different from your situation. Y'all like riding around in new cars, but you still staying in on, an apartment. You feel me? I don't get that. You feel me? And I ain't knocking nobody, and I ain't hating on nobody, and I ain't going against nobody. But what I'm saying is, we in a climate right now where fin financial literacy is very necessary. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they're not learning about how money works, how to build wealth, how to change your situation. And with that being said, like I've been studying and learning and building and mentally challenging myself and saving money, budgeting, you know, doing everything in my power so I could change my situation. Why? Because I want to change my situation. I'm not just up here talking to y'all and because it's, it's fun. You feel me? My back was against the wall and I felt like as I was building my confidence on being able to get in front of the camera and talk to you guys and educate myself and then share the information, share my experiences with you guys. That's what made me say, hey, I see the, the, the people that be on the internet and I see how these people came from nothing to something. You feel me? And I seen the work that they put in and I felt like, shit, if, if that person could do it, I know I could do this. I always been the, the new kid at the school, you know what I'm saying? Because we moved around a lot. So when we moved from this area to that area or from this state to that state, I always been the new kid that came in the school, you know what I'm saying? Or in the class or whatever the case may be. I don't know how, how school is now, but, you know, we had the different uh, breakdowns and, like, I think we had six periods, you know what I'm saying, in school. So you got math class, science class, social studies, uh, gym, PE, what we called it, you know what I'm saying, different things of that nature. But i always been able to adapt to my situation. And when I talk to you guys, it's like I want you to be able to adapt to your situation. I don't know what your situation is, but only you know what your situation is. But if you want to change your situation and you want to increase and you want to build wealth, and you want your finances to change, you want the your daily habits to change. And it, it's not just about like building up the wealth. It's about like building up your self-confidence, building up your self-esteem, uh, taking the time out to learn about yourself, seeing your weakness and your strengths. You know what I'm saying? Like when you got time to sit down, meditate, do whatever it is that you trying to do so you can elevate your situation, man, that's a good thing. You feel me? And there's people in the world, they don't like to see change. They don't like to see a person sacrificing now so they can shine later. They don't like to see that you ain't going, you chose not to buy the new car. You saving up for your first home. You see what I'm saying? And you don't want to live in an apartment for 20 more years. You don't own nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not to say like the house is a a, a bad investment, you know, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's different things that you can do with these houses once you become an owner and once you stack up your money, build up your credit, have your, 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 your equity built in the house. Man, so many different levels and there's so many different things that you could do when you're a homeowner, but when you spending all your money every four years or every five years or how, you know, uh, every time I see you in a new car or you traded that one in, you putting a down payment on that insurance, you know, it's like, it's like a never ending cycle. And it's like, man, I don't got time for it. You feel me? I come from the era where we wasn't financially literate. Like, we was told about money, but we didn't know about money. You know what I'm saying? Like, when the money was coming in, as fast as it was coming in, it was going right back out the door. But now, with the internet and with uh, all these financial literacy books and uh, things, literature to read, man, 
I'm learning so much about money and I'm learning so much about how I can change my financial situation. So that's what this conversation that I'm having with you guys about is I want the people that tune into my channel that tunes into my broadcast. I want y'all to be financially literate. I want y'all to be able to set goals for yourself. I want you to be able to elevate your situation that you currently in. You see what I'm saying? And it's like a lot of people, they like being quote unquote entertained and they really don't want to put in the work that it's going to take to become successful or don't want to put in the work that it's going to take to become wealthy or don't want to put in the work that it's going to take to do the traveling that you say you want to do or don't want to put in the work that it's going to take to pull up for real in the new G wagon or, you know, that Lambo or even if you want to get a, a brand new Honda, you know what I'm saying? Or a Toyota, whatever, whatever type of car that you see yourself in and you got in your mind that you see in your future. In order to get these things, I feel like you have to be financially literate. You have to have your business in order. So not only getting it is easy. But keeping it is what's hard. You see what I'm saying? Rep repossessions on the rise. People went out, I guess, when the pandemic came, bought these cars. They got them uh, PPP loans or whatever the case may be. Bought up all these cars. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody the with the economy and inflation and the, the cost of living is skyrocketing. Now people can't afford the cars that they went and got. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for me. You know what I'm saying? When I go get it, my plan is to keep it. You feel me? I'm not just going to get it and, and, and have it for a year, have it for two years. Next thing you know, I'm looking outside trying to chase the man down because he got my car on the tow truck towing it away for non-payment. You see what I'm saying? Or I'm not going to be that person and I don't want this for you either. You to be that person where you got to hide the car across the street or at the at your friend house or your co-worker house or whatever the case may be. Come on, man. Faking it till you make it, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, is you can speak into existence like if you're not doing it, but you see yourself doing it and you speak it into existence, that's different. But faking it till you make it is you got people that's doing stuff they know they can't afford it. They don't know how long they're going to be able to hold up the facade. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that, that's that's weird to me. I've never been that type of person. I've always been the type of person where I had to stay patient. I had to sacrifice. I had to budget. You know, I had to work hard. You feel me? A lot of people don't like to work hard. If you haven't saw my video that I discuss, uh, people act like having a job is so bad. You feel me? Hey, I got two of them, you dig? And to me, just doing this YouTube, this is like my third job, you feel me? That's why I've been taking things so serious to where I can get on here, talk to you guys, educate you, give you the information that I have, you know, that I possess. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to take it and run with it, you feel me? And do what you need to do so you can better your situation, you know what I'm saying? And it's like people don't understand the work it's going to take so you can be become successful because a lot of people like the alphabet, for instance, or one through 10, I like to say A to Z. A lot of people, they only see Z. They don't see C, D, E, F, G. You see what I'm saying? They see the end.